All right, Amani, you'll never guess what I just bought this weekend. You know, Queen ID, je n'ai pas l'argent, je veux me battre les pailles de ça. I brought a brand new Mustang. Mustang? Yes, like the ones, the ones with the wheels, not the legs. Oh, don't you think you can me plan? Pour me promener? Uh, I guess I have no clue how it works, though. Uh, I'm kind of afraid someone's gonna ask me how it works, and I'm just gonna say you press the gas, and that's how it goes. Je sais ce que tu veux dire. Ma copine m'a parlé de ça. Elle m'a envoyé à Autozone pour aller payer le filtre de la voiture, mais ça n'a pas marché. It doesn't even exist. Anyways, anyways, all I know is basically there's fuel squirted into a piston thing, and somehow magically the piston moves, and that's what makes the car move as well. Hello. I couldn't help but overhear what you guys were talking about. Okay, first off, your car has a V8 engine in it. A V8? Like, the same kind of V8s that I drank as a kid? Oh my god. A V8 is an example of a gas engine, you guys. Everybody knows that. Well, my dad told me all about these things, about, you know, oil and the gas, and but I kind of nodded, acted like I knew what he was talking about, but I really didn't. I can't believe a man doesn't know about his car. I mean, seriously, your car is a V8 Mustang muscle car, all right? Uh, it's a gas engine. It has four stages in it. Everybody knows that. This is more commonly known as a four-stroke engine. I mean, you knew that, right? It's what powers all automobiles, including yours and yours. Okay, uh, a four-stroke engine? You lost me there. I don't know what that means. I mean, it's like you're talking talking to me in French. Never mind. Never mind. Anyways, it's right there on page 76 of our textbook. You guys all have one, right? Nowadays, auto companies around the world have tweaked and manufactured their engines in hundreds of ways, all with the goal of increasing efficiency, power, and reliability. Oh, donc j'ai compris. Donc le conducteur bouge la voiture par quatre différentes manières. Okay, I can see this will take some work, but here goes nothing. The first stage is compression, and this is where a calculated mixture of vaporized gasoline and air is compressed inside a closed chamber and is ignited by a spark created by what's known as a spark plug. That second stage is called combustion, and that compressed mixture of gas and air actually explodes and the resulting hot gases from that explosion expand with great force against the piston, forcing it downward and creating work. In this case, causing the crankshaft to rotate. Oh, does it stop there? I mean, what's next? Good question, and I'm glad you asked. After the explosion inside the chamber occurs and the hot gases have pushed down on the pistons, the engine needs to do it all over again in order to provide you with a continued amount of mechanical energy. When the crankshaft turns far enough, it forces the piston back upward and all of the hot gases created by the combustion have to be expelled in order for the cycle to start all over again. This gas waste is forced out of the compression chamber through your car's exhaust system. Finally, the fourth and final stage of the cycle is the air fuel intake stage. This is where your gas engine captures a set amount of air and mixes it with the precise amount of vaporized gasoline in preparation for stage one all over again. Oh mon dieu, je ne peux jamais imaginer qu'on peut faire des séparés comme ça. Donc ce que c'est que mon mon Honda Civic là là. Donc ça ça peut aller comme ça. I think so. Yes, of course. The four stages are all the same. However, manufacturers tweak and design their engines differently in order to produce the appropriate amount of work needed to cause the kinetic energy of a moving vehicle. Of course, a Formula One race car requires a significantly more amount of kinetic energy in order to win the Indy 500 than you need for your Honda Civic to get you from point A to point B. Therefore, its engine's four stages are engineered for maximum performance versus maximum efficiency. This amount of work is expressed as horsepower 
and is the common method of comparing one engine's design to another. Automobile engines typically use anywhere from four pistons to as many as 12, and different designs of air intake, fuel mixture, ignition systems, engine size, measured in cubic inches, and exhaust systems are what gives cars such a varied amount of efficiency and power. Your Honda Civic will not go as fast as his Mustang will because of the engine's specific design characteristics, but it will sure use a far less amount of gas. Manufacturers' ongoing goals are to design cars that combine maximum efficiency with maximum horsepower. I feel pretty dumb for not knowing this stuff. It's kind of simple. Like you said, it was a four-stroke engine. It's got four little little categories in there that happens. I mean, sure, it's nice to know, but I'm sure it'll be just as useful to me as college algebra is, though. You're right, but understanding the basics of your car's engine will at least be enough to pick up chicks now. And that's something you obviously can use a lot of. <laughs> okay, he may have gotten me that time, but I still have a Mustang.